Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up Nagios Core Monitoring Server on Ubuntu, host it on Amazon Web Services. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing of AWS and from here you want to create a new EC2 virtual machine. So for that, simply click on continue to subscribe. After that, you will be brought to this screen where you need to accept the agreement or accept the terms and a validation process would start. So simply wait for the subscription validation to complete. After the validation is complete, simply click on continue to configuration. After that, choose the AMI version, software version and most importantly, choose the region where you want your virtual machine to be deployed. Now this region should be the physically closest one to you. After that, simply click on continue to launch. And then you have the option to launch the virtual machine from either the website or from the EC2 management console. So simply change it from launch from website to launch through EC2 and click on launch. Now this should open up the EC2 management console in a new tab. Now in this tab, you can customize your visual machine. So give your visual machine a name. I'm going to call mine Nagios and then scroll down and make sure that the image which is selected is the one that you got from the link in the description box and then choose the instance type according to your requirements and then choose a key pair by either creating a new one or by choosing an already existing one. Remember this is the key pair that we would be using to connect to the SSS terminal of our virtual machine. Scroll down and when you're satisfied simply click on launch instance. After that simply click on view all instances. Now you can see that our newly created virtual machine Nagios is right over here which is in the pending state. So simply wait for a few moments for it to change its state from pending to running. And once inside the running state, we can access its SSH terminal by simply clicking on it and then right clicking and choosing connect. After that, we need to copy this command right over here and then open up either a command prompt or a PowerShell, paste in the command and then simply replace all of the text including the quotation marks for the path where you have downloaded your private key. After replacing the path for the private key, simply hit enter and when you are prompted, type in yes and hit enter once more. After that, you would be able to access the SSH terminal of our virtual machine. So inside the SSH terminal, what I want to do is that I want to create a new account for the Nagios Core Monitoring Server. And for that, simply click the link in the description box to come to this step-by-step -step blog post guide. And in here, you would find the command to create a new user account. So copy this command. And by the way, this text right over here is the username of our account. So if you want a different username, simply replace this text with the name of the user account that you want to go with. And then after copying this command, simply paste it inside the SSH terminal and then hit enter. And then it is going to ask you for the password. So type in the password and reconfirm the password by typing it once more. And then you're good to go. After that, you want to access the Nagios Core Monitoring Servers portal. For that, go back to EC2 Management Console, go back one step, click on your virtual machine and then simply copy this public IP address. Now paste this IP address in a new tab and then follow it up by Nagios after the IP address. Hit enter and you would be prompted to type in the username and the password. So type in the username and the password that you have given it and hit enter. After that, you would be finally able to access the Nagios Core portal. So that brings us to the end of this video. If you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave them in the comment section down below. And make sure to check out the link in the description box for the marketplace listing of AWS and for the step-by-step -step blog post guide. And if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.